Hey guys, Luke is back with a brand new video. I'm doing a brand new look today with the Morphe palette in collaboration with Justin Hill. So I got all four of the palettes and I guess I'm going to choose which one to use. Know that I chose it beforehand, the Dark Magic palette. I was honestly one of the most beautiful palettes there is. So keep on watching this video, it's going to be a little bit of a voiceover, so stay tuned. <laughs> straight onto the eyeshadow so while I'm just looking at what my face looks like in the viewfinder I realize there's a black mark on my forehead so just trying to wrap that away spit doesn't work so let's just use the Brew Technique buffer brush that I got so using my Eco Tools angle crease brush I dip it into the color poof and just set my concealer on my eyes to make the eyeshadow last longer and look more pigmented so I then get my Zoeva 227 brush and dip in the colour shh Sounds like an ASMR video But no it's not So I dip in shh and then put it all over my crease It can be messy I haven't perfected the whole cut crease yet but Just trying to put it over your, your crease just to give it a little bit of a definition of your eyelid I guess To be honest the colour just looks pretty and I like the colour So I thought why not and also why not? So I'm just going to go straight with my Zoeva 231 brush with the colour potion and just run that over the crease with as a base. Just running it over, just add a little bit more definition and a little bit more colour but this is mainly a bluey kind of look so not really getting as much pigment as I want to. Just really running it over. So it really is just getting the brush and putting it in from the outer corner of your eye and just blending it in right into the inner corner of your eye, just along the crease, just running it through as lightly as you can, adding a little bit of colour but not too much green pigment. Yep, yeah, we're happy. So using my two free ones, so I even brush again, dipping it into the mojo colour. Just gonna pack it on the outer corner of my eye and blending it in. It's just so when I add on Busted, the really deep blue colour, it gives an extra shadow and makes the colour pop even more. So using the same 2 3 ones or either brush, we're going to use the colour Inside Job. Just packing it again over the crease. Just to add a little bit more colour into the definition of the look. So when you look at the crease, you see a brown, a little bit of green and then you see the blue. So it doesn't have to be clean, it can be messy, it depends on your eye shape as well. It's literally like how I'm doing it, I'm just packing it on. Literally. Now for the fun part, using my 2 3 for the weaver brush. Look at that beautiful deep blue busted colour, just packing on that busted colour all over my eyelid. This colour, when I first saw the dark magic palette, this is the colour that caught my eye. Look how rich that blue looks, honestly. It's just so, ah, oh, it's just such a beautiful colour and blue is my favourite colour so I wasn't. Just look how deep and rich both the eyelids look with Busted. It is such a beautiful colour that she created. I mean, just look at it. So then I took my Rotonique base shadow brush and just blended it in a bit with the crease because I didn't want it to be that much of a difference of a colour. Just so it looks more blended in together and looks more put well. I guess you can say. And now I'm just getting any concealer that I had. I have the NYX concealer which I don't really use that much anymore. So I thought it for the eyes. You get the Real Technique accent brush. Any small brush that you have really. It can be any type of brush. And just packing on the concealer over where you want that shimmer to be. So I decided to do from inner corner to sort of the midway of my eyelid and just going up a bit making an arch so give the illusion of a cut crease but not a cut
just using my eco tool I let the blur brush blending in busted and diversion together just so it's not that much of a difference between the colours. I think this look looks so much better when you have the two colours blended in. So it transitions into a beautiful shade. Like can you see how once you blend it in, it just looks more put together and it's not rough or scruffy. It's just you're taking time blending it in. So using my Zoeva 3 to 2 brush, which is actually a brown line brush, to begin to colour temptress and put it, put it over my upper lash line. The colour looks more of a dark deep navy slash deep purple but once you put it over the upper lash line it kind of gives the illusion in a way that you have a slight eyeliner on the top because this look I don't put no eyeliner on it, it's a no liner eyeshadow look. So just keep on adding that to your lash line. So using my 231 Zoeva brush again, just going into Mojo. Just sort of blending it out a bit because I don't really add in too much blue, but I also want to add in a little bit of brown. Just give the outer look of the eyeshadow the extra brown. So I'm just putting on my TF3 Tarky Lashes. And then again, going in with the eyelid blur brush. So your lower lash line, adding in a bit of the busted colour because you want the top to look similar to the bottom. So not adding in too much, but adding in enough of the blueness of the colour just so it matches with your top eyelid because you don't want it to be completely empty. Because you don't want too much where everyone just sees a block of colour under your eyelid. I just had to use this Kiko Lasting Precision Cold Pencil look. How the, the pencil just matches the look so perfectly, I just had to use it. It's in number 10 for anyone who wants to get out there. It's such a beautiful colour. I mean, just, just look how it makes it look complete. Like, wow. And of course, your girl cannot forget her Maybelline Lash Sensational Intense Black Mascara. It's the only me, but when I put mascara, I cannot make a decent face. Like, my mouth is either open, I'm looking the other way, or God knows what else. Like, just adding in your bottom eyelashes, it just gives it extra look. Some people put eyelashes on the bottom, you can do that, but I'm not really into the whole eyelash at the bottom of your eyelids. Does that makes sense. Bottom of your eyelids? Or your lower lash line? Yeah. So that, my lovelies, is my final look. Cue the poses! I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment and like this video, bye!